So I just wanted to pause here because I wanted to sort of make a give away a theory or a prediction. Um, one of my biggest theories that I'm having in my head is on the identity of the person that Dr. Hill, the psychiatrist, is speaking to. Um, right now, my guess is that I still believe, and I've mentioned this actually several, several videos ago, is that the person that Dr. Hill is speaking to is not me, the player. He's not actually talking to me. I think he's actually talking to whoever is the killer, which may or may not be the machete guy. I actually don't think the machete guy is actually the killer. I think that that's just a red herring. But I think that the actual killer is probably the person with the mask, you know, with the, the, the clown mask. He's the only one that I have specifically seen has harmed these children by like punching them in the face. So um, I think that the, the Dr. Hill, whether he's, he's real or not, and this could very well just be this whole sequence of him, um, the, psych the psych psychiatrist could just very well be all in the person's head, all in the killer's head. To, like as a coping mechanism for the things awful things that he's doing to these children um i shouldn't really call them children they're young adults to these young adults um and one thing that really got to me was how you know the the the, the psychiatrist keeps talking about the game this game that you know you why that you are playing whoever it is the you that he's talking to and I don't think that he's actually breaking the fourth wall. And like I said, I don't think he's actually talking to me, the player. And I don't think the game is referring to this video game. I think when he's talking about the game, I think he's talking about this game that this killer is playing, trying to, you know, kill all these kids and run, run them through all of these tests or trials. I think that's the game he's referring to. Because um, one thing that also stuck out at me, which is why I feel like this theory is fitting relatively well, whether it's true or not, obviously I have no idea at, at this moment. We won't know until the end, is um, he keeps saying that the way that you're playing this game, you know, when I'm answering certain questions, when I give certain responses, he, he would then say, Hmm, it's interesting you said that because that's not how you've been playing this game or that's not as accurate or as true to how you're playing this game when quite often I feel like if he was talking to me the player and the way that I've been playing this video game I disagree I feel like no I'm actually playing relatively consistent to what I just said which again is probably why I really believe he's not actually talking to me the player and he's actually talking to the killer because he's telling the killer, you know, you're saying these things, you're saying that you like each of these kids, and you're saying that you like, you value charity or whatever. But he's like, but that's not how you've been, that's not how you've been behaving. That's not how you've been playing this game. So that's right now is my theory. Um, please, 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 if for whatever reason I am correct, please do not, do not, um, confirm nor deny. Do not confirm nor deny that I am right or any piece of this is right because for the people who are watching this Let's Play blind themselves, I don't want them to read the comment section and then, you know, be told one way or another or even have a hint one way or another of anything that I have said is either right or wrong. So save that for the end. Um, however, if you personally have never played this game, or if you yourself um, have never um, have have never seen anyone play this game, feel free to let me know if you have your own theories as to who the person that the the, the psychiatrist is talking to, Doctor Hill, who that person is. Do you? Do you think I'm onto something? Do you think I'm right? Or blah, 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 blah. So only, yes, I'm, it's, it's, I'm using the honor system. If you, if you honestly have no clue, or if you honestly do not know for sure, feel free. Otherwise, do me a favor and just save it for later 
so that we don't actually have any spoilers here. So, having said that, Matt. We haven't really seen much of Matt and Emily. So, hopefully, I haven't really gotten a chance to really... Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? And there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Yeah. It's a good thing that they didn't have to see what happened to poor Josh. I'm still bothered by both Josh's and Josh's, Josh's death. I know, right? How he died. No, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I don't think I need to see that. Poor Josh. I mean, if I had to, if we got out of this and we'd have to retrieve the body for the family, as horrible as that is. Follow the path to the cable car station. So, well, that's the cable car station, right? I don't think it's gonna be this easy. There's way too many, there's, there's more, there's a lot more of these left. We're about halfway through. Just about, on the same page. I'm really proud of this one. I'm really proud that I got, th no, this one. That I got Mikey to make a friend, because I'm hoping, and the fact that he still has a really good working machete. I'm hoping that will seriously, seriously help him stay alive, because Mikey's one of my favorite, I, I didn't think I would, again, going into this game, I never thought Mikey would be my, fav my favorite. Like, despite the fact that, yes, he's a good looking dude, but that in and of itself does not make one, you know, a favorite. But um, it's just, I, I, I actually have gotten to know him a little bit more. I'm like, he's actually not that, you know, he's actually not that bad of a guy. A stubbed out cigar butt. It looks like it was left recently. Update the label is the same as the cigar found in the sanatorium. Yeah. The wooden cigar box, only a single cigar is left. It has a distinctive brand label. A map of the mountain with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. It looks like a work of an obsessive mind. Clocking mine cards. The photograph only showed 12 survivors. There were 30 clocking records. The Miracle Man. The successful rescue of all 12. Yeah, there were 30 clocking cards. Clockings. In the cards from the mine. Which is very interesting. Can we look at our totems again? A lot of these totems haven't been... That looks like Emily. I don't like that, Emily. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Or if we, like, pass that portion. That's Matt's death. Goodness gracious. Stay away from the stags, that's a danger. I think that has already happened. So are these are, are these unavoidable? Was this, it seemed like this was unavoidable. It seems like I had to get punched in the face. This, hey, wait a minute. That squeal sounds similar to this squeal. Similar, not quite. This never happened because Jess is dead. That looks like Emily as well. But I don't think we've gotten to that point yet. Okay. I'm sure we're not missing any totems because I'm apparently have missed some. Okay, not. X. Good, we got another totem. I need these. It's another death one, isn't it? A lot of falling. I feel like there's two deaths here. There's like two ways that you can die. Matt, you can fall. Oh, look. Oh, this one we didn't we didn't miss after all. That looks like the same 
That looks like the exact same place where um, Hannah and and um, Beth died. The same way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Matt too. Poor Matt. We already have two ways that you can die from these totems. I don't think these teenager or teenagers or college or students or whatever their age group is. I don't think any of them are actually seeing these visions. I think I'm the one that's seeing these visions. It's still fresh. And it's red. Of course it's red paint. Why wouldn't it be red? Of course it's going to be red paint. It's for all the herrings. All right. Look, an axe. And my axe. What is that axe doing on that door? I guess I won't ask too many questions about that. Just picking up all the... And my axe. Yes. Good job. Axe found. It's a clue. Jinkies. Oh, what now? This is locked, we'll Matt. Break it down with the mat with the axe. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down. He's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? <sighs> I don't know. What about? Look. What? A window. <sighs> That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. <sighs> oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Help Emily through. Smash the door. Help Emily through. See, I don't want to put Emily in danger. Smash the door. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Fortune. Is that the same door? Is that a different door? No, this is a different door. The reason why I'm checking this right now is because if this was the same door, if this is the same door, which I don't think it is, I think it's a different door, that door isn't smashed in. Like, I don't think that we used the axe on that door. So in order for this thing to come true, if it was the same door, I would have to not smash the door. But it's not the same door. So, this is what I'm thinking. Yeah, we could, we definitely could. Breaking down the door is definitely gonna make a lot of noise. Um, which might, of course, you know, bring the killer to us. I feel like the killer kinda has the one step ahead of us anyway. I feel like the killer is gonna know where we are because they always seem to know where we are magically in these horror flicks as it is. So, like, I don't think it matters, really. I feel like, at least if I smash the door down, there is an easy way to get out. There is an easy way to leave the premises. Whereas, if I help Emily through, and something, God forbid, there's something in there that, like, she'll have a hard time, harder time getting out, you know? And that's not cool. So, one thing about horror flicks is always try to have a way out as much as possible. If you're entering anything, a house, a building, try your best to make sure that there is one exit established. And you're not gonna have that if you help Emily through the window versus, you know, smashing the door. I also don't think this has anything to do with, with being on the same page. So, well, we might be on the same page because if Emily clearly wants to go through the door, if Emily clearly does not want to go through the window, then in order for us to be on the same page, I have to agree with her. See how I'm interpreting? It's really interesting. I love all these butterfly things because you really start thinking and analyzing. And they're probably all completely wrong, but I think it's kind of fun coming up with what each of these different butterfly things mean and how I need to strategically handle them. And it's fun when you get it right, too. But I think it's also interesting when you get it wrong, so. All right. So, not that I necessarily think this is what it means. I'm gonna be on the same page with Emily and smash the door. Okay, fine. Here it goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! 
Yeah. No need for subtleties. There we go. Make sure we have a way out. Now, of course, if the killer is coming to get us, we won't be able to lock the door, but we'll jump off that bridge when we get to it. Die, die, die. Oh, how lovely. Guy, though, the one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's gotta know this is the only way back. You don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? No, there's a lot of falling. Yeah, there's not a lot of falling. Don't, well, don't fall. Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. Yeah, don't jump that. Everything is like so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. We don't need you falling down anything because that's how you're going to. F Emily. <laughs> Emily dies from being pulled up. A number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now. And Matt died from falling. So I'm not having him jump anything. This is just lovely. There's gotta be something we can do. All ears. Look at all this crap. There's gotta be something useful in here, right? I hope so. It's a map. Ranger path, sanatorium, cable car. Ranger Path, Sanatorium, Cable Car. Hey, look! Fire Tower. Okay. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Fire Tower. That's going to have to be a thing at some point. Speed control. Great. We need the key. No keys, no cable car. So back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? What? Maybe there's a key. Option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or, or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. Be on the same page, Matt. Be on the same page. We can yes. use the radio to call for help. Somebody's yes. gotta pick up the signal. Be on the same page. Matt supported Emily's plan to go to the tower and get help. Hallelujah. Run or hide. If there's a ch okay, I don't know. See the thing is, if there was a choice between running or hiding, I would choose running. Cause I feel like hiding. There doesn't seem to be any point in hiding. Whoever's like going after you is gonna get you. They're gonna find you. Um, so you, so I feel like running at least you have a better chance wow, of survival in my opinion. Oh, radio, so smart. Why are you being so bitchy? We're in a serious situation. Well, here. Matt, easy. Yeah. I, I, if, if we, if it's fight or flight, or hide or run, I would rather run. Because I feel at least when I'm running, I have more options of... Unfollow. At least if I'm running, I have more options, more escape options. Whereas hiding, I'm like in one spot. And I think it's harder for me to escape and get away from somebody. I have to rely on them to n not find me, which normally in a horror f movie oh, doesn't... Normally doesn't happen. This is not good. Oh no. Oh no. Are we really doing this? Oh my goodness. 
we're going to die. I'm going to kill all of these people. It's going to be all my fault. I'm going to kill all these. Bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. This is a bad, bad, Just bad like idea. Magic. Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Good. You're all right. I got yeah, you. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. Why not? Okay. Oh my okay, goodness. Now. Seriously? Okay. All right. Oh my oh gosh. Goodness, gosh, we're going to die. Almost. I'm, I don't I, feel, don't, like, I, I feel like I won't be able... Emily. Oh. Okay. Get over here. Okay. Cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Careful, Emily. Don't go too too far. Don't go up ahead too far. There's another totem here. Another warning. I keep doing that, but he's more brave. Guidance. The gun. A flare. So I have to try to find the flare. Indeed. I need to get the flare. Events of the past. We've got more uncovered. Defeated. Sometime after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain. Until a cave-in trap. He became insane, I know. Gore. And driven mad. Murderers. Cannibals. Eating. Cannibals? Oh, great. I grasp beyond my reach. I, a year ago, I was finally able to get him in. I was finally able to get them all in one place. Mwahaha. <laughs> all right. Uh, Matt and Emily. What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, we get out. Until dawn. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. Yes, when I after dawn. Hide in the lodge. That's where he expects us to go. True. That is a good point. That is where he expects us to go. Oh my goodness. She's going that way. I'm going this way. We don't have to be on the same page anymore. I was on the same page already with you. We don't have to do it anymore. Huh? Um. Maybe not. Maybe I should. Phone? Oh! <gasps> Beth's phone! Whoa, this is Beth's phone. Oh my gosh. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. Oh my gosh. I mean, I could keep going that way. Yeah, that goes... 
What's over here? Is this another one? Oh man, we're big picking up totems left and right. This one's a... The interesting thing is... The interesting thing is that Ashley is in this one. Chris is limping. And he's got a rifle. And I keep hearing that screeching sound. The thing that's interesting is that Ashley is in this one. Which, which makes me wonder, does Ashley always survive? Right? Because I wanted to pick Josh to save Josh, and I didn't pick Josh. I mean, I didn't do anything, and by default it went and killed Josh anyway. I'm wondering if no matter what you choose, it always kills Josh. Which, to me, I feel a little bit cheated and gypped, if that's the case. I hope that's not really the case, but if it is, that's kind of a gyp. Apparently there's an invisible wall that Mr. Psycho Man was able to put up. Witchcraft! He's a wizard! An evil, dementa wizard type. I think that that's what that means. Unless that vision updates or changes depending on whether or not Ashley actually is dead, but I don't know. I have a feeling... I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm feeling. Great. This is where I... This is where they fell. Danger. Cliff. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a of snowy cliff top. Can we get away from this? Please. It's that noise. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. Yeah, because that's a that's a warning. A danger. Right here. Is it this one? So how do we avoid them? Oh boy. That's them. How do we avoid them? Sam has been in that bath for a long time. And that, that's like, that tub is huge. Like it's all, it's like almost Olympic sized. Not quite. She's been listening to music. Oh my goodness. What the heck you psycho. Give the girl some privacy, have some decency. Thank you. Have some decency, sir before you chop them up. Guys? How dare you? What are you, you doing out there? No, no, that's okay. Creepy. Yeah, creepy, honey. Not like, okay. you don't know the half of it. Why couldn't Mike have this scene? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, everyone take a drink. Cheers. This game needs a choice for Mike to take a bath instead of Sam, but that's okay. Equal opportunity, come on. Equal opportunity. I don't suppose anyone left a totem in this bathtub. Maybe. There's my cell phone. Okay. 